Major reorganization changes are sweeping City Hall. Tonight, the Spokane City Council voted to change the employment structure of the city's biggest departments, but not everyone agrees. Kex Y Force Kylie Cruz live at City Hall with those details. Kylie. And good evening. Yeah, there was lots of debate and discussion tonight just on this very issue, Nadine, lasting two and a half hours, and it was a very close vote. Four to three council voted on these changes. So what does this mean? Well, we're going to try to break it down as best as we can for you. Now, the city says they're updating this current ordinance to reflect on how they operate. So first, a little background. The city employs a little over 2,000 people each year. Now, currently, 4% of their workforce, or 59 people, are appointed. Now, the rest of these people are selected by the civil service process. Now, under this new organizational change, up to 6% of the city's workforce could be appointed by city leaders. Now, the city says the ordinance doesn't immediately create all the positions. It simply just puts the framework in place. Now, the two biggest departments affected are the fire and police department. Now, what this does for them is it changes some of the hiring processes for some of the upper positions, but it also changes some of the structural uh, organization in these two departments. Now the city says these changes will create more flexibility within city government, but some say it supports nepotism and could lead to government corruption. With assistance from our own civil service department and the existence of the city ethics committee, I believe that concerns with regard to the nepotism and the cronyism can be eliminated or minimized. All good policy, policy making is balance. This policy feels out of balance to me. And currently, the police and fire departments can only appoint two people in their entire departments of about 300 workers. So under this change, they'll be able to appoint 14 non-civil service positions. Now, Assistant Fire Chief Ryan Safer says this enables them to hire the best of the best to fill, the, fill these upper management positions. Now, they didn't vote tonight on securing any additional funding for these changes. They will still operate fire, police, all the city departments under their 2013 budgets, but we could see uh, some changes possibly in the fall when they vote for 2014 budgets. Reporting live tonight at City Hall, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News. Thank you, Kylie.